Have you been hearing a lot about a Windows emulator for Android that's called GameHub? It actually used to be called Game Fusion, but that was renamed shortly before its performance really started to ramp up. So today, I'm going to show you where to download the official APK file for the GameHub application, and then follow that up by showing you how to install it on your smartphone or tablet. If this video ends up performing well, I can break this off into a new series so that I can go over every feature that's packed in to this Windows emulator. But for now, we're just gonna keep things simple. We can download the GameHub APK for Android by first pulling up this website https colon forward slash forward slash gamehub dot dot com that's https colon forward slash forward slash g a m e h u b dot x i a o j i dot c o m and I'll have this linked down below for anyone who wants a quicker way of accessing this website. And I've also seen people linking to the URL gamehub.gamesur.com. Both will send you to the same page and both will download the same version of the APK file. At least that's how things are set up as of recording this video. So. Once you get to this page, you're going to see a big Android download button up here toward the top and just go ahead and tap on that. You should see that file downloading in the background. When you want to install the GameHub emulator on Android, you can either launch the APK file from within Chrome itself, or you can use a file manager application of your choice. It really shouldn't matter. Either way, when you tap on that APK file, it should bring up Android's built-in application installer to handle the job. You will need to grant access to Chrome or that File Explorer app if you want to install the application from there, since that permission is not granted by default, but you can just follow the on-screen prompts to get that application installed. As long as everything completes without issue, then you should see the GameHub application appear within the application drawer. Some devices use a launcher that has a feature to automatically add that application icon to your home screen as well, but not all devices are set up this way. So your best bet is to find that application icon in the app drawer. Go ahead and open it up, agree to the terms, and then log in to your dedicated GameHub account. And that's all there is to it. You can go over to the My tab, log into your Steam account, manually start importing your PC games that you want. Everything is done from here. So GameHub has come a long way since its inception. And it's the only way that I've been able to use a USB controller since that controller itself causes WinLater to crash during my testing. So I've just been sticking with it ever since. There are a ton of features packed into this emulator. So be sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you can be made aware of them when a new video is published. Don't forget to give this video a like and click on that new hype button that YouTube has put under newly uploaded videos. And lastly, 
subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.